On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and right. Put local news internationally every night on the spot. Wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, uh, today's story coming out of one of our rural parishes. We are talking about the parish of St. Mary where we have seen an uptick of crime and violence in the most rural parts. Some parts of St. Mary were never used to violent. We, the regular members of Chan Public, would just sit idly by and allow these criminal elements to blossom into the monsters that they are today. Now we are going to focus on the knockings and clappings that took the life of a man over there in a roadside district in Islington, St. Mary on Wednesday, the 20th of September this year. Now, there is a lesson also to be learned from this story because some of us, the regular members of Chan Public, even though we are not a knackis and clappy, so to speak, we uphold with the slackness, with an intention to gain monetarily from person's criminal actions. Yeah, man. And that is the reason why this person that I'm about to feature lost his life in a rather brutal and horrific manner. Now, the knockings and clappings is of a farmer that was found lifeless near his home in the roadside district Islington, St. Mary. The person in question is this man presently on your screen. He has since been identified as 41-year-old Linton George Thomas, but more popularly known in the streets as Bobo or Benup. Now, he was found lifeless by residents who had launched a search for him in his community. Now, reports surrounding his knockings and clappings, which ultimately resulted in his loss of life, is that sometime around 11.30 p.m. on Tuesday, the 19th of September, residents heard several loud explosions coming from the direction of where Linton George Thomas lived. Now, it is said that the residents didn't alert the police at the time. Because I don't know if them just feel say I just some idle boy or clap some can in at the ear or whatsoever the case may be. But the police was not alerted at the time of the night when the knockings and clappings took place. Now the following morning, which is the Wednesday morning, the 20th of September, sometime around 10.30 a.m. It is said that a family friend went to visit Linton Thomas. And when checks was made after he called on to him and no answers came from the house, it is said that the person made checks and found what appears to be blood trails leading from the home of Linton Thomas to a two-story concrete structure that was still under construction. 
Now, right away, he alerted other family members and friends in the community. It is said that a search of the premises was carried out by community members and one of his dogs. It is said that the body of Linton Thomas was found in a pit about 12 feet deep. The body of Linton George was, however, clad in a black and white shorts and barefooted, with the upper body wrapped in what appeared to be tarpaulin. Now, the help of the Port Maria Fire Department had to be requested to help retrieve the body from the location in the pit. And when it was retrieved, boy, trust me, was not a bossy sight for look pan, none at all. Now, one may be wondering why Linton George Thomas was dealt with in such a wicked and brutal way. Why the criminal elements them? Out of Islington, near him food, and broke the plate. Now, let me get into the meat of the matter for now, so you can understand exactly why his life was taken. Now, Linton, as we all know, comes from Roadside District in Islington, and he's a well known pig farmer. Now, time and time again, criminals be coming in pig pen, teeth for one pig here and there. So, he build up a little shack close enough to him pig pen where more time him just randomly sleep close to the pig pen. So, he can catch somebody in action one of the night then because he lose a portion of pig over the years and he just disgruntled about it. And you don't know St. Mary man and them lass. Yeah, man, them... 28 cutlass or what some may call a machete. I'm closest friend that so him decide to say, I'm going to chop up somebody one of them time here. Yeah. Because if him catch somebody, I'm going to pig pen. A dirt settings. Yeah, man. But on that night now, him decide to say, I'm just a priest or something right. So I'm going to sleep close to him pig pen. So I'm going to do that. And hope on him being there, he saw some criminal elements from the area a break into an old Englishman named Bentley's home. Now Bentley built up a nice big house in the place about him liver foreign so more time he make one and two of the youth them in the area where him know and trust their own him and them man they can stay in the place make sure say everything alright and the place is well maintained and taken care of. Now one of the very same man them where Bentley no one trust and left him in place more time. Set up with other criminals to come rob the place. Take out all of the appliances, them and furnitures and everything. Because it's a man who bring down some nice antique things and some expensive things from England and put it in place. So the criminal elements in the era got tear down the place now. Take out everything clean. And the brother you see, the farmer known as Linton George Thomas. So he was in close proximity and he saw everything that had taken place. Now one of the criminal them see say, him see them. So them go page him and make him know, say, yo, Linton, no bad at all in an old heap of chattings, you know, just know, say, I hear me, a badness the thing name. And when time we sell out the thing them, we are going to make you eat a piece of food too. So just hold it down. I don't know what the thing said. Badness. Yeah, man. And right there and then, my peeps, that is where Linton George Thomas went wrong. Because he colluded with the criminal elements and said, all right, when time we don't name the food, you know, make sure so you make me nice too. But guess what happened? After time pass, things sell out. Linton no see no piece of food I reach him. So I'm going to page back the criminal element you now. Who came to him in the first place and tell him to hold it down because a piece of food I got run. And the response from the criminal element was not favorable to Linton. Now Linton start running mouth and word got back to the son of the old Englishman and all hell broke loose. Now the criminal elements them plot and decide say yo we have to silence him once and for all. 
because him a continue to run up in mouth and people start hear things and it a go start show we up now as the main crime producers in the community. Now, I could get into some serious thing, you know. You have a clique of boy in the area. And that crew, that criminal organization, is run by this criminal element here, presently on your screen, who has since been identified as Bory Boy. Now, people of Islington, you know, know said this boy you presently on the screen is a top knackis and clappies in our place a known crime producer a criminal element that you know say buy weed and transport to haiti you know the guns for drug trade yeah man so the whole thing was set up by him and a youth known as janai now janai have a brother who is a top criminal element in the place so him link up with him brother because him know him brother of other criminal associates who can help them carry out this brutal act. Now the brother is presently on your screen. He's more popularly known in the streets as Aboy or Rhino. Now Aboy link up with a youth known as Bloody Blacks. And as I can hear the name Bloody Blacks, that speaks volume for itself this is bloody box presently on your screen the man also link up with a youth known as black boy and the next one known as patcha gray patcha gray is a rather controversial figure because patcha gray is a man with lock strap for bore boy in fact patcha gray lock a strap and this trap get miss up and him put things in a bore boy mind and i say which part him lack the strap the same man known as linton did the close and a most linton city strap and wall lamp on the strap so that even gave bore boy and his criminal associates more reasons to go after linton and dirt him yeah man so this controversial figure yeah, you know Bore boy is one to look out for not just the residents of Islington but the police officers who is responsible for that particular policing area need for know say this criminal element here carrying a whole heap of man because he have whole heap of links in different areas and he has gone out to commit other criminal acts in other areas so more time what them do you know them use for them criminal friend from for them era for going other areas and commit acts and then the whole switch up thing go on so more time a man will come in at St. Mary come do a dirty things and people are says a strange man come do it we don't know him from nowhere but a bore boy friend them because bore boy go step on crime in a Kingston and St. Andrew more time him go step on crime in a place known as Bayshore Park out there in Harbour view, yeah man. Him go step on crime more time in a mountain view. Him go step on crime more time in a stony hill. And of course, you don't know say Islington, St. Mary, Basin Hill, Pimento Hill. I feel him grungs them grungs there, yeah man. Holy heap of things him go on with when time him a trad them streets there. Now who remember back in 2020? When him link up the pimento man we always come in at the place come buy pimento from you the pimento farmers and help you know out yeah man borrow boy get a link from one of uno same one give him the man number and him call the man and tell the man about him have 40 pound a pimento a sell and he would definitely love if the man could have come now because him have a youth was sick and him really want to carry him to a doctor so the man being the good-hearted person that he is went to the area to purchase the pimentos from bore boy not knowing that bore boy the hunger farm him farm a crime and violence him produce yeah man so the man went in blindly so Bore Boy and him friend them wool on the man 
and rob the man of every single penny in his pocket over half a million dollars. Yeah, man. And also his license firearm was taken. Now, what go on, you know? The man did a plan to go buy some pimento from other persons. But because he got the call and Bore Boy seemed to be in distress and definitely want to get him you to that time, come to Bore Boy first before him go buy any other pimento from anybody else. So him come with the water cash. So Bore Boy just relieve him of see him and also his license firearm. So people of Islington, St. Mary, who don't know the type of person that Bore Boy and his fellow criminal element friends are. Who don't know Janai. Who don't know a boy, a.k.a. Rhino. Who don't know Bloody Blacks. Who don't know Black Boy and Pacha Gray, who is said to be the main driver and the strap locker for Bore Boy. Yeah, man. Don't allow another Linton Thomas type of knockings and clappings to happen. Even though Linton Thomas actually put himself in a harm's way by colluding with criminals to make a gain from criminal proceedings. He give him life, basically. But don't allow others to lose them three pints in your communities. These criminal elements must be taken out one way or the other. Walk out or chalk out so your communities can return to what it once was. Yeah man. So anyway my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media. As I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast on the spot news media. Yeah, man.